energy guy. You're, yeah. you're, you're the energy guy. <laughs> is that something you've always done? Is, have, you, is it, have you always been that kind of guy? And how much have you kind of grown in that role in, yeah. in your third year? I mean, I've called, always come and been like that. Even at Popka, my high school I went to, I've always kind of been that guy. It's always so loud and obnoxious. And, you know, I take that role and, I, and I'm proud of that role because I, I love bringing people with me and, you know, leading by example and bringing that energy because, you know, Sometimes it's not it's not a lot of great energy in this room or in different rooms, and I'm just trying to bring be that guy to lift people up and to tell me, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity that we have, you know, let's make the most out of it and you know bring that energy. And so that's why I yell a lot, and but I love it. I love yelling. I hate when it's quiet. So some, some people might think it's you know it's a position that you wouldn't think would be one of those. Normally it's quarterback or a wide receiver or mm-hmm. something like that. Does it? Do you think people are surprised when when you're the energy guy and you're the guy that people are turning to in, in kind of a leadership role? Yeah, I mean, as a lot of people were surprised about that, but you know, for myself, I, I play a little bit of quarterback in high school, and I've had that role a little bit here as the wildcat guy or the spinning whatever you always want to call it last year. But you know, it's uh, what I learned in high school too. You know, you, you can be a freshman and lead, and my head coach always told me that. And I came here as like I'm, I'm a freshman, I'm a sophomore. And, I'm not going to be scared to lead. You know, I've taken that role this year, too. I'm going to be a junior, and a lot of guys look up to me, I think, and uh, that's my job now, to lead by example in the, here in the facility and out in the you know the city and the town and just to bring people with me and, you know, just love on them and especially the young guys and just try to be a, you know, bring them in as a, as a brother. You, you probably know Jared as well as anybody considering you guys are together all the time. Yeah. How, how have, have you seen him kind of, take in Auburn and, and, uh-huh. and kind of absorb everything this is since December and how's he changed? Uh, he's he's done an awesome job. I mean he's as good as you know they get and you know, coming in too. He's got a great a great head on his shoulders and that's what I love and I can you know I, I you know everybody can be good at football and stuff but he's good at life. You know he's a good kid. He's got to, he just talks about people in a good way. I've never really heard him say a bad thing about someone else and that's what I love and he's always trying to encourage me and Encourage teammates to you know just keep going and uh, you know let's go get better today. So. He's he's a guy that has a pretty good bit of energy too. What's yeah. it like having a quarterback that that's one of those guys? Oh, that's it, I think it's huge. And I think uh, I mean he's the general of our offense. So I think that guy who who screams a lot, you know, kind of like me. You know, I'm just a fullback, you know, playing, but he he's a quarterback. He he's he's our general. So he. Uh, I think he's doing a good job with that, and I think that's going to be big for us. You know, sometimes even in our rooms, you know, we're, I'm laying in my bed, he's laying his bed across the way, and you know, I, he hears me scream, he screams back. You know, that's how we wake each other, that's how we get going. So you know, <laughs> I, I love him as a roommate, I love him as a brother, and you know, he's done a good job.